Hi, I'm talking to Andrew here from Octoplex, the makers of Blazing Core. So, um, first question, can you tell us a bit about your company? Is this your first production or have you been around a while? Uh, no, we currently have a released game on Steam. It's a VR game, High Noon. Uh, it's about uh, Wild West shooting. Um, it was a simple game, we've done it in four months. And uh, this game is in development for about three years. Uh, we have several um, casual games uh, in uh, release and development by other teams in our company. Uh, so for Blazing Core, uh, would you be able to tell us anything about it? Like, have, what's the story to it? Uh, is there a story to Blazing Core? Uh, once more. Uh, is there a story to Blazing Core? Oh, it has, but we don't uh, pull it for out before release. Um, Would we have to give just like a brief, like... It's a little bit like a distant future, but it is not grim future. It's a bright future with uh, some uh, fields and uh, knights and they are uh, fighting tournaments over planets, different planets. And uh, every mech has uh, his own uh, knight inside, so it's like knight armor and steed and spear at the same time. Um, that's all for now, because it is an uh, online multiplayer competitive shooter. So we are focused currently only on core gameplay, not on... Um, story and uh, visual presentation for the story. Alright, uh, and could you tell us a bit about the gameplay mechanics? Uh, yes, you can think is it's a blend of like World of Tanks and Overwatch. It's a hero shooter. Um, it's a slower than um, most shooters. It's high time to kill. Uh, it's very tactical. It's very close for something like Rainbow Six. So you need to cooperate close, very close with your team and uh, you're using uh, max, highly customizable max. so you can change role from one to other uh, with customization not only with changing max. so max different very differently one each other and um, uh, weapons gives them more differentiation between, so you play the same mech but you can load out totally differently. Okay, uh, and what was the inspiration for Blazing Core? Um, I think at first it was like MacWarrior, old MacWarrior games. But uh, it, it started as a green future uh, fallout like this. But we think it is not very fun and not very interesting to make game which looks like any other game with a Max. So we think how we can elaborate this, and we think about future and uh, technology like Star Wars or Destiny. It's a mystical science fiction, so it's bland. And we think knights, robots, it's double cool. Yeah. <laughs> so it's how it's done. Uh, so what platforms do you intend on releasing it for? Uh, currently it is currently on Steam, on closed beta, not on early access, but in May or start of June we will be in early access on Steam. Uh, later this year, about October, November, we plan for launch on Steam. And sometime there we are planning for moving PlayStation 4 and most likely Xbox. Um. Is there anything in the game that you weren't able to put in yet that you kind of wish had made it to the final cut? Um, yes. Or things that you've already had to abandon? Um, we have plans for uh, global wars with uh, um, nightly orders uh, fighting each other on these global wars, but it won't be on release, I think. Only these tournaments and uh, small fights, not meta game. So you're intending on supporting after release then? Yes, of course. It's um, designed as a uh, service, so we'll expand uh, our rooster with new mechs, adding uh, new weapons and skills for existing mechs, 
and adding a lot of um, visual customization and expanding game on higher level. For example, this wars, and uh, we are targeting a lot of for uh, fight order with order. So it will be order nightly orders from NPC and uh, player by uh, created orders. Uh, they are derived from uh, these uh, non-player uh, orders. They have the ag agenda in world, so you can um, join them, uh, claim their rounds, and get the uh, recognition and some skills, some weapons uh, designed only for this order. But later you can switch to other orders. Okay. Uh, and so final question. What made you choose the art style you did? Um, like, was it about convenience or was it about an artistic that you just felt fit the game? Yes, uh, it, uh, our target was to make a game that stands out of other Mac games. At the same time, we wanted to represent our art style, so it's represented hero shooter. So it's not just a um, tank, it's a hero tank. So he has charisma and uh, uh, all other things. So it's how it is worked, you can see.